In the battlefield of life, there's an insidious enemy lurking in the shadows, an addiction that's been holding you back from your true potential, masturbation. Now, let's not mince words here. Masturbation addiction is a silent enemy, a relentless foe that strikes when you're most vulnerable. It's like a shadow that follows you around, subtly draining your energy, your motivation, and your zest for life. It's a thief that robs you of your potential, your dreams, and your relationships. It's a seductive siren luring you into a cycle of instant gratification that leaves you feeling empty, lonely, and unfulfilled. Think about it. How many hours have you wasted in pursuit of this fleeting pleasure? How many opportunities have you missed because you were too drained, too preoccupied, or too ashamed to seize them? How many relationships have suffered because of this secret addiction? Physically, it saps your energy, weakens your immune system, and can even lead to sexual dysfunctions. Mentally, it can cause anxiety, depression, and a distorted view of sex and intimacy. Socially, it can lead to isolation, a breakdown of relationships, and a loss of trust. But here's the thing. This is not a sermon of guilt or a lecture of shame. This is a call to arms, a call to rise up against this invisible enemy and reclaim your life. This is a wake-up call to recognize the harmful effects of masturbation addiction and to start fighting back. You see, every war starts with a declaration, a declaration that says, enough is enough. I will not be a slave to this addiction. I will not let it control my life. I will fight back. And that's what we're doing here today. We're declaring war on masturbation addiction. The key to winning this war lies in acknowledging the problem, understanding its effects, and making a conscious decision to fight back. It's not going to be easy. It's going to require determination, discipline, and a lot of courage. But remember, every journey starts with a single step, and the first step is to declare war. In the wise words of Sun Tzu, know yourself, know your enemy, and you shall win a hundred battles without loss. So know your enemy and declare war on your addiction. As Napoleon Bonaparte wisely said, victory belongs to the most persevering. The war against addiction is not won in a day. It requires strategy and perseverance. Indeed, the battle against pornography and masturbation addiction demands a tactical approach. Just as a general would not march into battle without a plan, Neither should you face this challenge unprepared. Firstly, understanding your triggers is crucial. These are the situations, emotions or thoughts that ignite the urge to succumb to your addiction. It could be stress, loneliness or even boredom. Identifying these triggers is the first step towards formulating a robust defense strategy. Next, it's time to seek professional help. Let's be clear about this. Seeking help is not a sign of weakness, but instead, a strategic move. Therapists and counselors are trained to help you navigate through the maze of addiction. They can provide you with tools and techniques to manage your cravings and guide you towards a healthier path. Now, let's talk about your support network. You're not alone in this fight and you don't have to be. Reach out to trusted friends or family members who can provide emotional support and encouragement. Join support groups, online forums, or communities where you can share your struggles and victories with others who are on the same journey. And above all, remember to persevere. Change takes time and there will be setbacks. But as Winston Churchill once said, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. So don't give up, don't lose hope. In this battle, your greatest weapon is your willpower. It's the spark that ignites your determination to overcome this addiction. And it's the fuel that keeps the fire of resistance burning, even in the face of the most powerful urges. Remember, the only easy day was yesterday and Navy SEALs. Each day is a battle won. Remember this as you march on towards victory, one day at a time. Channel your anger, don't let it consume you. Let it fuel your resolve to break free from the chains of addiction. You see, anger, like fire, is a force that can either destroy or refine. It can consume you, turning your life into ashes, or it can be harnessed, channeled, and used to refine and reshape your life into something greater. Consider for a moment the power of anger. It's raw, it's potent, and it's often seen as something negative. But what if we could turn that around? What if we could use that anger, that raw, potent energy, to fuel our fight against addiction? The truth is, we can. Instead of letting anger drive you to destructive habits, let it drive you to constructive action. Let it be the spark that ignites your determination to change. 
Let it be the catalyst that propels you to declare war on your addiction and fight for your freedom. Remember, anger is not your enemy. Misdirected, it can lead to harm and regret. But when channeled properly, anger can become a powerful ally. It can become the force that pushes you to stand up, to fight back, to say, enough is enough. But how do you channel your anger? How do you turn this destructive force into a positive one? The answer is simple, by using it as a motivator. Let your anger at your addiction fuel your resolve to quit. Let it remind you of all the times your addiction has held you back, of all the opportunities it has stolen from you. Let it remind you of your worth, of your potential, of the life that's waiting for you beyond the chains of addiction. And remember, this is not about punishing yourself, it's about liberating yourself. It's about reclaiming your life from the clutches of addiction. It's about using your anger, not as a weapon to destroy yourself, but as a tool to build a better, healthier, happier life. As Mark Twain once said, anger is an acid that can do more harm to the vessel in which it is stored than to anything on which it is poured. Don't let your anger destroy you, let it liberate you. In the throes of this war, remember to look up. Trust in a higher power, trust in God. This battle you are fighting, it's not just physical, it's spiritual too. And in this spiritual battle, you are not alone. God is with you, he is your shield and your strength. And he is waiting, waiting for you to reach out, to ask for his help, lean on him. Let him be your guide as you navigate this storm. Let his light shine on your path, illuminating the way towards freedom. Let his love envelop you, reassuring you that you are not alone in this fight. God doesn't promise an easy journey, but he promises to be there every step of the way. As Martin Luther King Jr. said, faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. Trust in God and take that first step towards freedom.